I'm uh, with uh, Linda Quinn, who's the Director of Marketing and Communications at Big Lottery Fund, at our People Power Change Workshop, where everybody is talking about ideas for moving big, big people power change forward. Um, Linda, you gave us a great presentation as a backcloth here, teed us up for some discussions. What are you hoping for out of today? I'm really hoping that what we, we get out of today is a, a, an element of the start of a joined journey between not just the people in the room, but others who have been involved with us through tweeting and, and social networking to really hear what's viable and what, what we could add value to um, support for local community groups. I think the key theme here is what can uh, Big Lottery do more than funding, which is terrifically welcome, but I think you want to encourage sharing of experience, learning between those have got, that have got grants, maybe even those that haven't. That's, that's absolutely right. I mean, what we're keen to do is really support localism and to encourage people to use tools and to empower them and enable them to use tools that would actually create momentum and activity within their community. So it's not just about money, it's about galvanising people with a vision to do something about a problem in their area. Without playing favourites on the ideas that are already being discussed, anything that you've heard which particularly interests you? All of them, I think, are, are really exciting. I'm particularly interested in how uh, people share and join up and how you take an idea that might be very local but has resonance well beyond that community, identify it and scale it up. So there's, there's lots of different things. I'm interested in how we can use apps in a better way that would enable people to understand how they could access funding and how they could actually how they can do things in their community. I'm interested in asset-based activity, uh, all of it, and networking, how we can learn better, how people can report their stories, and that becomes an inspiration to others to do it. We're asking people to develop some um, sheets, posters, sets of ideas to, uh, by the end of the day. What's going to happen to that? Well, we're going to hoover it all up, look to see what really great ideas are there, post it back to the people who have developed the ideas together today, share it publicly and transparently uh, on the web, identify collectively with the people in the room what are the best ideas that we would really like to take forward to our uh, committee to see what appetite there is to begin to use these ideas and to develop them as part of our aspiration for how we fund in 2012-2013. And as you said, we'll put the results of today up on the web, um, so there'll be an opportunity for people to pitch in some further thoughts before you go to committee. Absolutely there will, and I would encourage everybody who has a grain of an idea to really engage with us, because this is a real opportunity for people together to help co-design what we might do next.